Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a new installment of a series here on HN we call Annotated. Now with Annotated, we go into the how, why, and explain behind some of the most popular, current, and upcoming film and television franchises. And with this installment of Annotated, we'll be talking about Penny Dreadful and the upcoming new spiritual successor series, Penny Dreadful City of Angels, which is premiering soon on Showtime. And with this, we decided to really cover the characters and concepts from the previous Penny Dreadful show leading up to the new series, because even on its own, it's an amazing show, but there's a lot to go into with concepts, mythical characters, and events, which may or may not be referenced or featured at some point with City of Angels. So regardless of a crossover, the old show is fantastic and worth highlighting. So when the opportunity arose, we decided to take it. But hopefully this gets you guys either into the series or more interested in the series if you've maybe seen one episode. So let us know what you guys think and certain things you'd like to see us cover. And with all that said and done, let's get into it. With the new series Penny Dreadful City of Angels premiering on April 26th, we at h &E decided to cover characters and concepts from the previous Penny Dreadful series, which aired from May 2014 to June 2016. And while this series is described as the spiritual successor to the original, it's possible certain concepts, mythical characters, and events will be referenced or featured at some point. So regardless of a crossover with City of Angels, we thought it was worth exploring the original Penny Dreadful to highlight certain things about it. So in this installment of Penny Dreadful Annotated, we'll be focusing on Daywalkers. Now in Penny Dreadful, there are two types of witches. The first are called Daywalkers, while their darker counterparts are known as Nightcomers. And Daywalkers protect society from dark magic and evil beings using their magical potions, herbal solutions, or even vast supernatural abilities that they are born with. And these include communicating with spirits, longevity, divining past, future, or even present events, and sometimes being able to potentially use themselves as conduits for more powerful deities that want to walk amongst the living world that don't mean any harm towards humanity. And another skill as well that daywalkers have shown is communicating with the devil's language known as Verbus Diablo. And this allows witches to utilize very powerful magic they can't on their own, as well as banishing their darker counterparts known as nightcomers. However, being it's a corrupted version of God's angelic language, its usage ties a person's soul to Lucifer, so with each use of it, Lucifer gains more control over that user. And this is usually a way that daywalkers become nightcomers, as they become seduced by this enhanced abilities and enhanced powers that they get from using the Verbus Diablo. Now, in terms of fiction, outside of Penny Dreadful, daywalkers are commonly considered vampires that can operate in sunlight or even half-bred vampires. In a really popular version of a daywalker is the Marvel Comics character known as Blade, who himself is a daywalker through being half vampire. And the name itself also comes from the word dehamper, and if I mispronounce that I am really sorry, but they were described in Slavic traditions as vampire hunters. Usually going father to son, generation to generation, they would practice vampire hunting and also be able to use magical abilities that could help them either sense or find and kill full vampires. And daywalkers in particular also appear to be interpretation of white witches, which were also known as folk healers or seers. And these individuals would practice more benevolent white magic and usually act as mediums between the physical and spiritual world, staying away from the practices of dark magic which was heavily frowned upon in medieval society. But leave your comments down below. Are you guys interested in more Penny Dreadful stuff? Let us know. I hope this got you guys interested because we have more interesting topics to go into in future installments like vampires, werewolves, Dracula, demons, more and more leading up to City of Angels, which premieres on April 26th. But leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? We'll see you guys later.